Welcome back to Perch Recap. Back at it once again with The Grateful Dead. This is Anthem of the Sun. It's an album from 1968. Let's just dive right into it. We're going to do the whole album. This is going to be part one. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Here we go. The This is Jerry singing. I'm almost positive. I think I, I think I've got it down now in terms of who's singing when. Uh, enjoying this so far. It's really early on. Obviously, just want to mention this is an 18 minute song. So hopefully, you have your drink and your snack ready to go. Um, it's not an 18 minute song. It's an 18 minute side of the album. It's a side one of the obviously the two sides. We're gonna do the entire side as a part one. We'll do part two for side two. Uh, so this is gonna be about 18 minutes long. Let's get back to it. Oh, okay. Okay.
before they crank it back up again. I uh, just want to mention, I want to thank Sam Bleffin for the donation and the suggestion for this. Um, anybody who's followed this channel knows that in the fall, I hit Grateful Dead really hard and was on them constantly two, three times a week, just all, all you know, through almost their entire catalog. Well, not really their entire catalog, but through a lot of their catalog. Um, anyway, Sam did get me, get me back on here for this one. I haven't heard any of this. It seems pretty, pretty much new to me, a lot of it. Um, he did mention that there, you know, the, the song titles here, but he did mention that it's kind of one continuous, there's no breaks in between. So I'm not going to know when the song ends, when the, the, the new one begins. I'm just not going to be able to tell. But anyway, I want to thank Sam once again for the donation and the suggestion. If you'd like to donate like Sam, information for Venmo, PayPal, that's in the description below. If you want to donate to the channel, definitely would appreciate that. It's also at the end of this video. Uh, there's a couple of slates with that information. And if you donate to the channel, I'll react to whatever song you want me to. All right, enough of that. Let's get back to this. You know what? I'm going to go back 10 so we don't miss anything. Okay, interesting. I should have mentioned before, Sam did say this is like pure psychedelic rock by the Grateful Dead. And obviously that's where we're at. I was looking right here um, at the track listing. Maybe this is a new track. I'm not, not entirely sure, like I said, if I'm going to be able to tell. But 
the first track was called that that's it for the other side which i've actually heard before there was a bunch of like subtitles underneath it but the second track listing after that's it for the other one is uh new potato caboose i believe and then last one is um born cross-eyed but i don't i maybe this is the new potato song i don't know we've still got quite a bit to go but we'll we'll see as we go I think they're picking up into a new song now. I, I think, again, don't know. Here we go. before that uh the pig pen time is probably my favorite time for the grateful dead because they're kind of more rock this is definitely more psychedelic rock but it's also about the personnel at the time i mean this pretty much has everybody you want it's, it's got mickey and bill on the drums you got phil you got bob you got jerry and you have pig pen that's a great lineup and that's probably why it's my favorite along with the style of play that they were playing at the time um I do think Jerry's voice gets a little better later in the 70s, but if I'm taking as a whole, the whole band, I like this time probably the best, early 70s, late 60s. Um, and as for the psychedelic rock aspect of it, 
I would never consider myself really a psychedelic rock fan, to be to be honest. But the last few that I've listened to, the last few songs that were psychedelic rock or classified as psychedelic rock, I've actually enjoyed. So maybe my tastes are changing. Maybe more psychedelic rock is something I want to get dive into a little bit. So if you have any other suggestions, let me know. Let's get back to it.
there you have it that is anthem of the sun side one part one we're going to do both sides both parts the entire album um, if you're watching this right now and you want to see part two it's going to be released the exact same time so they'll both be up uh, at the exact same time so you can go from what right from this one right to the next one um, I'm looking forward to that one by the way because it's got alligator and caution do not stop on the track it's only two tracks but I'm assuming it's going to be extended because it's another 18 minutes uh, of music I'm assuming um, according to, to Sam, that's what he said. Anyway, also according to Sam, he also mentioned to me that this is kind of like a fusion of studio and live. What they did is they took their studio recordings and integrated some live uh, sections within the studio recordings and released them. That's an interesting thing that they did. That, that's pretty cool. Apparently, it's a little bit more prevalent in, in Side 2, which we're going to get to. But, you know, that, that's kind of cool. I, kinda, I, I like that. That's an interesting thing they did there. As for the Psychedelic Rock... I guess I got to I gotta say, give me some more because I think I'm really enjoying it a lot more than I thought. And uh, also, I don't know if you noticed, but I thought it was, I, it was probably pretty obvious that I was waiting for Jerry Garcia to have his solo. And of course, he did. Excellent. He does that better than anybody. He puts a solo in, a con in the context of a song probably better than anybody I've ever heard. He also was dropping in little golden nuggets here and there throughout the, whole, throughout the entire 18 minutes. And if you got to kind of listen for it a little bit and pay attention because he's kind of still in the background. That's like a trademark of his. It's, not, you know, I'm, you know, if you're lo looking for solos and use of solos, especially guitar solos that are like right up front in your face, other uh, parts of the band are like kind of laying out and it's just, that is the, the focal point of everything. And it's just a killer shred. That's not where you're going to get a lot of time from Grateful Dead sometimes, but for the most part, it's there. But the other, you know, the other instruments are playing. Nobody's really laying out. And it's almost in the background. But it's always there. And it's always excellent. And that's what I was waiting for. And I got it, of course. I'm going to be looking for it again for, for side two. So I'm going to get to that right now. As soon as I'm done recording this, I'm starting side two, recording it, finishing it. I'm going to release them both. So until then, I will see you later.